Where's the Princesa, the capital of Palawan. We are rolling up at 6 p.m. The sun is setting and we have our motor here on the ship. I think we're gonna be an hour early actually and yeah, just gonna check out the sunset and then bring on this province on the west side of the Philippines. Let's do it. Uh, so chill coming off this boat. Really relaxing. We're just gonna walk out because I think it'll take a little bit of time to come get our motor. It's only 7 p.m. and we actually dock right in Puerto Princesa. The capital's maybe only 800 meters away and we already randomly booked a place, so. We're about to find out how much is the fare gonna be to the capital from the port. Kumar's asking a local guard, smart move. Thank you, Po. Oh, Minsan. Mecano? 20. 20, 20? Nice, 20, 20. So it should be 40. Fair well, we might have to pack you out, Diva. Depends. Depends. Might have to pack you out. Pack you out first so you get the whole thing. It's always high price because you're white. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but you know what? Support local, Diva. Yeah. <laughs> you step out of the port and there's maybe like 20 people there with tricycles and they're gonna be asking you like everywhere nice guys but we decided because it's so chill here we're in the town we're just rocking up this little hill a couple hundred meters and then we'll grab a tricycle up here maybe Freddie from Bohol, of course we gave him more than 20 pesos each because he's a nice guy, he's honest, he was cool. And now we're just gonna walk a few meters to the random place I booked. Alright. Brad, Brad, Anion, Genie. The red genie. Oh, well, I'm going to wish Hello, I'm going to So this is Red Doors. I'm not going to go hotel. Philigans. Philigans. Basically, Red Doors is known for being affordable and clean around the Philippines. So I just goaded it for 1.5 and now we're here. You should crack Red Horse on the Red Doors. Hala. <laughs> Delicado bread. Delicado. Nice. Salama. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> 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 Room's clean, and I love how it's off the main road. You use this back little alley. We're flipping a coin for whoever gets the big bed. Are you going, uh, what do you call it again? Heads or tails? Ah. It's a, I don't think I'll look heads or tails. Oh yeah, king. Patay. Hari? Hari. Hari, king. king. Hari or patai? Like dead? Hari or patai? Hari. <laughs> ah, hurry! Penalo! Penalo! Brad, you need some money? <laughs> the original. The original. 
Oh man. <laughs> One of our goals is to go to Palawan Palawan and take a photo of the original Palawan, Palawan Express. Palawan Express. Even though it's probably not the original, but it just makes us laugh. Yes! I love how this place is Brungai Tagumpai. Success! They walk ahead. That is a social balut, man. Mm -hmm. 30 peso. Okay. Brad, 1 to 10. Lami is 10. 7. <laughs> Honest review by Kumar. Not that, the soka is not that good. <laughs> they are, it's the vinegar. Yeah, the vinegar is what's important with the balut. This is so nice. Brad, Brad. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, Brad. That reminds me of uh, Toy Story, right? Little yeah, soldiers. I can't get over how many bikes there are here. It's such a nice vibe. I just talked to some locals who came up to me and uh, they lived in Manila for a while. One of them is originally from Puerto Princesa. And they said when they had a kid, they decided to move back here because it's a really nice area to raise a family. I can see why. Yes, sir. What do you think, Brad? Yeah. Seems to kill? Mm. Head for soup and then the rest is grill. Yeah? Game to Bali? Mm. Don't know what they call this here, but it's a sweet style of multi cow. Look at that vintage. Brad, Brad, this is a... Ready? Yeah. That's so funny. You're really hungry, bro. I'm really hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. I think because of the coffee. Oh, that's why we... When we're waiting for the food, Kumar is rocking all these snacks. It's hilarious. It's a... <laughs> Let's go, man. Dude, every time, every time. If you don't know what soup to kill is, it's sukwa, tinola, and kilau. But we didn't have any kilau, so just sukwa, tinola, and a bunch of gulai. Gulai power, bro. Gulai power. It's really sukwa, man. Spice, sweet. I think it's just a lot of onion. Nice. That's some onion. Massive shout out to this vinegar. It is amazing. I love how there's tons of sabuyas. Good style. 100% making this when I get back home to Katio in the future. Legit. Legit enough to shout out legit. Nice bread. <laughs> Super chill here in the evening. Uh, back at the port, got my bill of lighting and let's see how we get my motor. Super easy, you just come in, go to the to-go office, 
And then you have to go pay your stray, I think, and they release it for you. Haba haba, sir! Haba haba, sir. Bite sir. Come on, sir. Good morning, Palawan, Porta Princesa. This is the capital. There's roughly 300,000 people. I think there's 66 barangays. It's known for its ecotourism. And on the sign just ahead, it says the city of the living God. We got the motorbike. Nice one, Kako. Kumar's on the driving right now. We're just gonna rock and roll. We're heading somewhere new today. We're leaving the city. You ready, bud? Ready. Ready? Let's do it! Para <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! First impressions of Porto Princesa, very green! I love right now how we're leaving the city and heading up towards these kind of hills. Uh, the bay over there was beautiful. We saw it coming in last night on the ship. Yeah, next stop now is somewhere to eat. It's already late morning. I think we're gonna be heading to the south today. And then, Maiz? Ah, oh, it's okay. Thank you, Pia. Hang out, Paul. We turned off at Barangay Lizvi Minda on the highway, passed through and now we're in Barangay Manganizda. You can tell why it's named that because there's a fish port just over there and you can see a bunch of bunkas and boats in the water, some people fishing. We're right across from the city of Puerto Princesa and as we came in here we randomly pulled over at this cool kind of local style hut set up with a home. It's called Besties. The Ate who runs this place is actually from Cebu, but she's been here 10 years, super nice. We just ordered coffee, check it out. Nice man, you got a good setup going. Finally, cafe, they even gave brownies. What did we order? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> This is super beautiful, man. Mm. Sinkai. What's it called? Sinkai. Sinkai? Mm, small shells. Escabeche tuna, talong, itlog, Kumar's got some toasty log coming. They cook very well here. And I'm trying to figure out what kind of leaf is on my rice. Or my rice is on my leaf. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna eat. Kabisi ba. Kabisi. Adrenaline rush. Yeah. Even us, like we, we first started motoring. How old are you? 35. Oh, 35. So. But when we first started motoring around the Philippines was January or February 2014. 14. Mm. So even now, 10 years later, it's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> At that age, that's the drive. That's why we ride. You know, the adre adrenaline rush and, oh. the, and the sound of the. Vroom, yeah, you know? and it's just a good vibe. Yeah. And it's such a nice way to see the country because mm. you're open to everything. Right? Absolutely. It's Absolutely. really, really amazing. I don't know. 
Gamay mga gamay rice because so much ulam. So if we if we eat lots of rice, like we're gonna lazy me. You know we're gonna drive ba makatorugon. Book up until now. Tikman jud ko kahulot to guan ka. Ako ganay all di pogo. Your food, your food is just solid as well. I can't believe it. It's in mango sauce. Mmm. It's in sour and mango sauce. Ah, that's why it's different. Yeah, you can see the mango bits and the pineapple bits. You know what's funny? I'm amazed we ended up here because we just randomly were driving. You know, we hadn't eaten yet today, and then we just drove to the barangay. And then I remember on Google Maps, I just saw random. It's like besties, and then we just looked and saw you on the road. And we're like, okay, why not? But it's actually incredible. I would totally come eat here all the time. Why? Thank you. Super good. Ati Wilma is the coolest. <laughs> Straight up. She used to drive motocross bike all around Palawan for three months. Uh, she's been all over the place. She lived in New York, lived in Canada, now lives here. She's Bisaya, Tagalog. She's cool. She's hip. And yeah, anyways, we're just Name chatting. Can <laughs> you imagine putting me in video without makeup? What? <laughs> what, what? Can you face up that one? I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I will face it. You look great. You look great. <laughs> oh my goodness! It took an hour. There's a I said Diva Ningko. There's a blogger. I always follow. Is it that you? Maybe I'm one of them. Kalava, kalava, sigido, kalava, sigido. She is the coolest. That's so funny. Oh, Mindanao, ako. <laughs> Are you guys old from Cebu, everybody? Uh, yeah, they, my uh, I came from Galing ako sa ano sa Buongga del Sur. Oh, sa Buongga del Sur, like Pitogo, Pagadian, Pagadian. Uh. Oh, ah, nice. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, tell you what, we'll, we'll take. We're gonna take a great photo with makeup. <laughs> or we'll use the filters. Filters, baby. Filters. You look great. You look great. Look at me. I'm always haggard. Like. Yeah. But then, you know, I just came from... Oh, it's okay. That's the real glow. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did you find, bro? Antidote for snake bite. The centipede plant. It's a pangalan again? Centipede plant? Mm. And who taught us that? Ati Wilma. Our idol. Lodi. Lodi, Ati Wilma. So cool, man. Salamat. See you soon. All right, awesome place. Go there and talk to Ate Wilma. She is our new Lodi, and she has told us something that she suggests we should do. So we're gonna go back to the main road and backtrack about two kilometers. Here? I'll talk to you when we get there. Yeah, buddy, you can go this way. First through the Brunga. <laughs> We're gonna take the west coast of Palawan south. Did not take long for us to realize how freaking beautiful it is road trip around Palawan. We've come about 15 kilometers from the turnoff for Napsan. This is Barangay Mabuhay, and the whole way is just red lawaan, white lawaan, big forest, the rivers. Uh, just behind us here in Barangay Mabuhay is this big kind of complex. 
Uh, you see a big raft floating thing, people swimming, having a good time. It's a Sunday, so family day, everybody's hanging out. Natural environment is stunning and uh, we're going to keep going now another 15 kilometers to the coast, so very enjoyable place to drive. Check it out. Woo! We're gonna pull it off at Halloween. Let's check the beach here. <laughs> 